on the back side you will find various connections and knob. Let's look into that. The power supply connection. This is a power cord. The knob on its left is used for swapping batteries. The Flight 60 ventilator has two batteries. The user will have to rotate the knob around in this manner and pull it out for swapping the batteries. Make sure to rotate it completely until you hear a click sound. On the top right of the screen, the two battery icons indicate the battery capacity. The real-time battery capacity is displayed in numerical percentages and green battery LED indicates that the ventilator is connected to an external power source while an orange LED indicates that the ventilator is running on battery. The display of an upwards arrow indicates that the battery is charging and downwards orange arrow indicates that the battery is depleting. When the combined charge of both the batteries is less than 30%, a low priority alarm is activated. This alarm can be reset by the user. While the combined charge of both the batteries is less than 20%, a medium priority alarm is activated. This alarm can be reset by the user for 15 minutes. When the combined charge of both the batteries is less than 10%, or the integral battery is less than 5%, an empty battery alarm is activated. This alarm can be silenced for 60 seconds but cannot be reset by the user. This is a 12 to 15 VDC 4.8 amps max for direct current. This enables one to use this machine even in a car. To close it, Simply put the cap back on it and rotate it clockwise. On the right, we have communication 3 port and a USB device port which can be connected here. Next, we have LAN connection and USB host port, mostly used for updating the software of the ventilator. On the extreme right, we have two VGI ports for communication purposes.